Hello everyone, Don Antonio from the Cigar Castle, coming to you from Tampa, Florida, 56th and Fowler. And I'm just smoking another P.O. Resurrection. You can find them in our humidor when you walk in to your immediate left on the end cap. A lot of people come to the Don when they're done smoking for the night, but they're not quite finished with their cigar. And they say, Don Antonio, I'd like to save this cigar and smoke it at some later time. Well, my first bit of advice is, I don't practice that, I don't do it, but the best way that I know how to save a cigar, once you've started smoking it, will be in this fashion. Now I'll ask Joe to come on in a little closer and I'm gonna take this cigar here that you can see has been smoked to the halfway point, and then a customer will ask me to save it. So, I'll get a pair of the Zycar scissors or any brand scissor that kinda has this shape to it, because I like to work, actually knock the ash out of the way, and then work from the center of the cigar out to the edge like this, not chopping too much off in any one go. I do that to save the exterior shell wrapper from cracking. That's important. So I go about it in this way, and then once I see some fresh tobacco around the perimeter, or the circumference, then I go and scoop out the pit of ash here in the center. Everything is gentle and slow when we work with cigars. If we go slow, we go in the right direction. If we go fast, we're going wrong. Now, if you think you're going too slow, just go a little bit slower. You'll be on firm ground. Take it from the Don. He's freshly shaven in the house. All right, now I just bang out some remaining ash. Joe, come on up. You can see what I've done here with the foot of the cigar. All of the dead ash has been out of the way. How about I just blow out any stale smoke that might be in the cigar? You might not have seen it, but there was just a little bit of a wisp of smoke that came out through the cigar. Now, at this point, I'll take a Ziploc bag for storage. I'll set the cigar in. I'll try to keep the foot facing up. I'll take the Ziploc, I won't seal it shut, I'll fold it back over itself to keep it open so that the fumes in the burnt part of the cigar can escape the bag. I'll even do something like that, just kind of fold it over so they can't get down on the cigar and permeate it any further. Then I'll take this cigar, if I'm going to smoke it tomorrow, I'll wreck, well not me, but if a customer wants to do that, I'll, I'll advise they put it down outside of their house or on the terrace of their apartment, wherever they are to kind of get capture the humidity that we have here in Florida. It really only takes about one hour for a cigar to be outside of a humidor for it to start physically changing. So I try to be mindful of that. Pay attention to the humidity outside. I mean, if you're in some other part of the country up north and it's colder out, obviously there won't be much moisture in the air. They call it relative humidity. Relative humidity for a reason. It's relative to what? It's relative to the temperature. Colder air holds less humidity. It's warmer out like here in Florida. We hold more moisture in the air. Well, this has been another presentation by Don Van Don Antonio to give you his tips and tricks and other cigar pointers. So keep tuning in, click subscribe, hit the bell for future videos. Don Antonio, signing off!